Whew. With the summer months approaching, it's really starting to heat up. It's very important and critical that if you're mining 24x7 to provide cooling for your GPUs and CPUs. Today on that Techo Guy, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to install some fans in order to provide some airflow and cooling for my GPU mining rig because this is important in order not to shorten the lifespan of the components. Stay tuned. Okay, so here I've purchased a couple of 140 millimeter fans here, um, nice and orange. These are supposed to spin at about a thousand revolutions per minute. They're supposed to provide a total of 64.5 cubic feet per minute when it comes to airflow. Uh, these are the turbine fans made by Cougar. Um, they seem pretty cool. They were quite cheap actually, around seven euros each. And I'm going to install four of those. And basically those four are going to go up near my GPU mining rig at the back here. And what needs to be done is basically I'm going to put the airflow going in that direction outwards. And it's going to blow over the hot plate here at the back. And it's going to blow through the fins. Uh, you've got the fins there, for example, on, the, on this 3080. It's going to go through that heatsink block blow over the hot plate and that should provide cooling as well so that those four are going to be installed back here okay i'm just going to show you what temperatures i'm getting at the moment on my mining rig just for reference before i install them okay so i'm mining away here it's been around uh, 12 minutes now because i had to restart my miner and i let the temperatures set settle again um so i've got my five gpus right there okay and here I'm going to show you the temperatures before. So before basically I'm getting on the 3060, which is the card on the main board here. That is basically going to have a fan sat right there and it will provide cooling into the fins from here and onto the back plate, through the back plate and through these fins right there. Okay, and that is currently running at 64 degrees Celsius, as you can see here. I've got the GTX 1070 that's running at 59 degrees Celsius, which is the Asus GTX 1070, the first one. Next up, I've got the other GTX 1070, which is actually the last one here. And that, that is the uh, Chill, the you know, 3D iChill. And that is currently running hot. In fact, you can see that this is red at the moment. That normally is either green or blue when it's at lower temperatures. So that will change depending on temperature. And that's running quite high at 68, but that's always a hot card, so it's nothing out of the ordinary. For the 3080, I'm getting 58 degrees Celsius, which is the palette, the RTX uh, 3080 palette Game Rock edition. Okay, that's getting 58. And for the RTX 3060 Ti, I'm getting 56, which is the this one here, the Gigabyte iOS. Okay, so I'm getting 56 on that one as well. What I've done, I've created a notepad here and I've just written down before cooling those temperatures that I've just uh, given out to you. And basically I'm going to put what I'm going to get after cooling once the fans are installed at the back over there. One, two, three and four. And I'll put a fan down here behind the uh, 3060 as well. Okay, so basically guys, I've just drilled a couple of holes in the aluminium bar here. That's where the fans are gonna go in. So if I can do this with one hand, the fan's pretty much going to go in here. This is going to sit, the bar's going to sit up like this, and the fan's going to be behind it with screws, and we're gonna have four of those right there. The fan also has arrows here to show you which way it's going to turn and which way the air will flow when it's turning. So that's important to keep in mind so that the orientation here will then be as it should be. And there we have it. All four fans now installed. Let's mount this bar on the back of the rig and give it a whirl. Okay guys, so as you can see the fans are now installed. Four fans at the back here all aligned with the GPUs. So you've got one for each card pretty much, pretty center. At the moment the fans are switched off and for the RTX 3060, I have a fan here with a mount that I will connect 
with the header to the main board and that will be running at full speed as well. For the fans at the back, what I'm going to do is that I have this Molex to three pin adapter. I've connected them all together and on one end I'm just going to put in the power supply and that will power them all on at the same time. Right, the fans are whirling as you can see, all four fans. By the way, these fans are 0.2 amp fans, 12 volts, which is gonna equal around 2.4 watts per fan. So that's around, uh, I don't know, 10 watts in total. 10 watts in total for, for the entire four fans. So it's not gonna consume a lot of power. And they're whirling there. And I've got this one down here as well, which is around 0.25 amps. So it's going to burn about three watts to cool down the 3060. So let's begin. I, I think this fan is actually faster as well. So this is gonna give more airflow. So this is a bit faster, yes, it is than the others. And it also is rather warm in this room as well. So for reference, the ambient temperature is around 32 degrees. So we'll be working with that ambient temperature. Okay guys, so here are the results with cooling. I'll show you also the stats down here as well. 3060 is currently at 60 degrees. Mining, you can see it at the background, it's still mining away there. On the 1070, 57. So as it says up here, 57 as well. On the 1070, the other 1070, it's 63, which is 63, which, which is what I've written here. On the 3080, 54, which is what I've written here as well. And on the 3060 Ti, it's down to 52, which is what I've written here as well. So it's like between two degrees and five degrees droppage in temperature, because it all also depends on the card. Obviously these cards are all overclocked as well, but it does make a difference. Even a little bit of a difference goes a long way to help in the longevity of these cards and it will also help for the fans to spin slower as well resulting in less wear and tear on the fans. What I might do in the future is that I might actually put a couple of fans at the top as well to help more air circulate downwards into the fins as well and see if that makes even more of a difference and maybe even put four fans at the front to help expel the heat from the cards or I can actually make them blow in as well but that will be a force blowing this way and a force blowing that way so I'm not sure how that will work out because normally when you have an enclosed case it works better when you have intake and outtake to expel the heat so I'll try it both ways when I can get my hands on some more fans but the gist of this video is that cooling is really important and even a few degrees less like we saw here, will make a difference. You have to remember that these cards are overclocked and running 24 by 7. So 5 degrees less on the 1070 is pretty, pretty cool as well. Here, this is 5 degrees less. So that does help a lot. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the like and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.